but he's going to be completely spotted here. And let's see if he even bothers throwing down the Nexus up there. Uh, yeah, he's going to be completely spotted. He knows he's spotted now, so he's going up to this position. And let's see if he actually throws down the base. I don't think he will. I really don't think he'll do that. So being spotted, so I think he's just going to hover around there up at the 2 o'clock position with his probe. Maybe try to sneak by and get a scout on what Flash is doing. But let's see, <laughs> Engineering Bay, just a shadow over the probe. Are you going to throw down the Nexus? I know where it is. So I don't think he is, but let's see what damage these Reavers can get done. Pretty sure that uh, Pure is going to push in with Reavers soon enough as he is going over here. Oh, man, so close to the mine, though. Pure just soaking up the mines. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's just running right into the mines. I guess he wanted to do a little bit of mine clearing, but come on, keep about three Dragoons together and you can snipe the mines instead of taking the damage from them. But okay, here comes some Reaver drop. The Observer is in to see the amount of troops. There comes the Reaver. Going to try to take out that siege tank. He does take it out, but Flash very quick to run all of his troops down here. He was ready for this attack. So Pure forced to back off. Look at that red shuttle. So Pure might even have to pump another shuttle sh soon because I don't see a way that he's going to be able to get too much damage done back here. Look at the siege tanks in position, ready to intercept those Reavers, and uh, Pure forced to back off. Even though Pure is taking the 12 o'clock position now, he is preparing a uh, very heavy macro build, which is what he's good at. But soon enough, he's going to have to deal with a lot of harassment from Flash. Looks like Flash already has a couple of Goliaths out just to try to snipe that shuttle. It's down in red, so uh, just finding the shuttle, he'll be able to take it down in a couple of shots from those Goliaths. So that's what he's going to try to do. Has the position turrets everywhere. He's anticipating a drop inside of his main now, and I think he might be running back with his Goliath. There's Pure ready to attack that uh, command center as soon as it's floated over. And I think the Flash is actually, is he taking the 2 o'clock? No, he just still has uh, a troop, has uh, his Vulture and his Engineering Bay up there. So uh, he's not going to take that yet. I, I was going to say that was heavy, heavy macro from him. And he might be putting himself a little bit vulnerable if he tries to expand too much. But I think he's, Flash is expanding just the right amount now, taking the inside mineral only. So he's just going to try to secure the entire right side of the map pure, taking the natural expansion of this uh, 12 o'clock position, even though <laughs> just now dropping some probes in to mine at that base. He does not feel comfortable uh, transferring them from the natural expansion or anything, and I can't really blame him as far as that goes. He's just asking to be drilled through with uh, vultures or something like that. But let's see if he can actually establish the natural expansion up to 12 o'clock. If he can, he's going to be in a wonderful position. But if he can't, if Flash decides to push that soon, which I think he will, he's just now getting up all of his factories, and he's readying uh, his science vessels for EMP and whatnot, I look like he might be expecting Arbiters, but uh, he has both of his armories spinning, and Flash is going into full Flash mode. I read some uh, an, an interview with Flash talking about having to uh, train for two best of fives in a row. He had his MSL game yesterday against MVP. I won't spoil that the results of that, but he had to. That was a best of five, and he had to practice for this one as well, as well as the Pro League, which he's probably going to do soon. So that's a heavy, heavy schedule, but he was saying in interviews that he is putting all of his focus on the OSL because he wants that golden mouse. And if he moves into the finals, oh man, he might be able to achieve that golden mouse. But like I said, don't count Pure out. Pure is a great player once he gets his macro going, and it looks like he's building something at the 10 o'clock position. I'm not sure what's going on up there. It's not a Nexus position, so he might be trying to hide some tech or hide some buildings up there, but I'm sure the observers will see that soon enough. Speaking of, of observers, the Pure's observer trying to get some spotting in the middle of the map, and, but uh, Flash decided to pull back all of his vultures to tackle this troop. So Stargate's coming up, hidden Stargate, so I think this might be a carrier build. Might be a carrier build. I had to look at that cybernetics core to see if it's spinning. If, the, if it is spinning, definitely going to be a carrier build. Going carriers against Flash, that takes some brass ones right there because I haven't seen a Protoss player win with carriers against Flash since Stork faced Flash a couple OSLs ago. 
And that was a very impressive play. So uh, the general rule is don't go carriers against Flash unless you're Storic. That's just a rule of thumb. But a oh, lot of SUVs going down. Looks like that was a successful harass from Pure. He's got to pick up his Reavers, though. Don't let the Reavers die. Let's one die, and the other is very low on health. Not sure what that was about. Definitely should have picked those up and uh, plopped them into the main or something. Yep, Fleet Beacon coming out. This is going to be a carrier build, a second Cybernetics Core, too. So it looks like Pure is going all in with the carriers, trying to hide them. And this is actually hidden in a great position. It's not likely that Flash is going to scout the 10 o'clock position unless he suspects that Pure will hide something there because that's not a very uh, good place to expand right now. And if he was going to scan that base at the 10 o'clock, it would be a little bit further right from the Stargates. But seeing a lot of uh, Goliaths coming out now for Flash, always pushing right now, so he might have actually scouted the Stargates coming up, knowing just the right time to push, because Pure is going to be low on troops until he gets his uh, carriers ready to go. He sacrificed a lot to get those carriers going, and now Flash is pushing the natural expansion of this 12 o'clock position, and Pure, he doesn't have many options at this point because this is a very strong push from Flash. A lot of tanks and a straight line so if Pure should try to attack Flash will be able to siege no problem. It looks like he is preparing right here sieging all of his tanks. This is going to be impossible to break from Pure but he's still trying to push with all of the always oh, got some high Templar in the area doing one storm but one storm is not going to get this done. He needs another storm in soon. Plenty of tanks in for Flash still and he has all of his he even has some troops up here attacking this 12 o'clock position, so Pure forced to back off. Man, he should have waited for a few more troops before he decided to do that, but Flash not letting up. He's going to try to take out both of these bases at the 12 o'clock position, and this could cripple this build from Pure because he's relying on about five bases to support these carriers. And when you go for carrier tech and you lose a base in the meantime, it's pretty much devastating. You're just not able to support uh, the interceptor count you need. Not to mention, look at this, the 12 o'clock position is going down, the natural already went down, so Pure just lost his entire troop, and he's going to be relying on the fact that uh, Flash will not scout this tech switch. But I think he will scout it, or at least he'll anticipate it. He has plenty of factories without machine chops, as you can tell, and going heavy, heavy vultures, so he'll be able to click G on all of those and have a Goliath out to deal with those carriers soon. Okay, let's see what Pure can do. He just lost two bases at the top. I think he planted down another base. Uh, yeah, never mind, he just lost that 12 o'clock base. I thought the Flash had already destroyed that, but just now destroyed it. Oh, wow, killing all the Dragoons. Major hammer blow down here, and it looks like Pure forced to reveal his Goliath now to protect this base. Oh, this is even worse for him. If he had waited a little bit longer against an unknowing Flash, he might have been able to pull this game back in his, into his favor if he hadn't lost all of his troops in the middle at the attack at his uh, 12 o'clock base, he might be able to make those carriers worth it. But right now, these carriers are not going to do anything. Nothing. Look at all the bases going down. Flash is a monster. I can't even believe it sometimes. Oh, GG from Pure already. And Flash is focused. Oh, can anyone beat Flash when he's focused? I'm not sure I know the answer to that because he's just so scary. That's even better than he normally plays, which is already ridiculous level. So, Pure, good luck. We're moving on to set two.